Yo guys, what is up? It is Master Darius here, and I'm bringing you guys a Halo, f a another episode of my Halo Combat Evolved Top 10 series. I mean, Top 5. Sorry, blah. Anyway, the gameplay in the background: some Team SWAT on a new map called Panic Station. Panic Station is a medium-sized map of a lot of open area, and I soon realized that you were at a disadvantage if you if you were using the battle rifle. This was this was my first time ever playing this map. So I re soon realized that DMR was the go-to weapon of this map, and you were dominant if you would use DMR only. So anyway, moving on to the top five fan favorite maps in Halo Combat Evolved. And, uh, Combat Evolved, sorry. Um, so yeah, the six maps I'm going to discuss. One of them is obviously a honorable mention. So the honorable mention is Hangamai. Hangamai, also map. It was remade, I believe, three times. No, two times. Sorry. It appeared in Halo Combat Evolved. Halo 2, I believe, or maybe at least in Halo 2 PC, but, um, and it was remade in Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary. I played it only in Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary. Um, I played a little bit in split screen in Halo Combat Evolved, but it was an awesome map. I thoroughly enjoyed it. The map had a lot of open area, so you were at the disadvantage if you were using the assault rifle against the pistol. Peel of a pistol would just destroy you, basically. And also, it featured the overshield, rocket launcher, and sniper rifle, and all three of those power-up and power weapons were located near each other, right? Close to each other, very close to each other, so one person could secure all three of these weapons if he was lucky. But anyway, moving on to the top five list. So at number five, we have Prisoner. I kind of agree with this, disagree with this one, sorry. I think it should have been higher on the list. Maybe top three or top two. We'll. S I don't know. That's that's my opinion. But the community says otherwise. So prisoner was an awesome map. It has three levels. So there's a lot of height advantage involved. If you had the pistol, and you could actually spawn trap people. Kind of a little bit. You could you could easily predict where people would spawn this map easily. So if you're top, if you're at the top floor. You would know that the people top would spawn at the bottom floor, so you could just jump down and surprise them and just give them some headshots with a lovely pistol. And then, and the map, the map features some vents for the first time, I believe. And it was a really fun map. I enjoyed it. I just, I love the map basically. And that, uh, that's what I really think that should have been higher up in the list. But give me a test otherwise, otherwise, sorry. So at number four, we have Damnation. Damnation is sort of a covenant themed map and we don't see co many covenant themed map in Halo at all so So basically it wasn't the ship still appeal for it was a ship but it was more of a structure as it features a lot of pipelines Pipes of for example a covenant gooey water like green acid water probably uh, more maybe even covenant urine which is kind of gross, but I would say it's true. It, it was really quite disgusting it was remade only once in Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary. I enjoyed it, I think it deserves its number 4 spot. And it featured active camo, overshield and a rocket launcher, sniper rifle and shotgun. Quite a lot of power, power ups and power weapons to obtain. And it was very fun, enjoyable map. Freaking awesome for free for all in my opinion. But Prisoner, I would say it's better for free for all, but I, I forgot to mention that. But I enjoyed Damnation, I really did. So anyway, moving on to number 3, this is possibly my favorite BTB map ever. Like, together with some other map, but this is a freaking amazing map. This is just so, a map which I freaking love playing big on big, um... I freaking large! I love playing this large map. Normally, I don't enjoy playing large map because you see a lot of campers, a lot of camping, or some douchebaggery. You know, stuff not being enjoyable. But anyway, it is Sidewinder, the freaking ice cold solid um, ice map, basically. And it was it was amazing. Just enjoyed playing it with friends. Like I saw, I usually played even. Like, free for all, like, with the three of us. Only, like, three of us and free for all. It was still very fun. It would take, like, one minute for us to find each other, but it was very fun. We enjoyed it. We enjoyed the vehicle play on the map. It was freaking awesome. But when it was remade in Halo 3, it wasn't as awesome. 
because he had more vehicles, he had to freaking rave, more scorpions, and a lot of vehicle chaos in the matchmaking. So, if it wasn't for that many vehicles, it would have been enjoyable as, v Halo, as much as the Halo 1 version. But um, because of that many vehicles, I now enjoy it. Because there's so many vehicles, you get, you can just get destroyed and spawn trapped. And you just... It would get a little bit boring, honestly. Like, less gunplay. But... And less fairness. Because basically, if you have a Wraith Scorpion... If some team has a Wraith Scorpion and Hornet, you can just get destroyed. Unless you have a laser and stuff. But with a laser, you can probably take out one vehicle before getting destroyed by your vehicle. But anyway, um... At number two, we have Battle Canyon. I agree with this one. This is my... F possibly, I would have said this is, should have been number one. It's a freaking pure Halo classic map. Very simple map. Has two bases, symmetrical. And has a... Um, has some caves, like some canyon caves. Uh, featured sniper, shotgun, and a rocket launcher in... On the rock structure, on the arc, basically. Yeah, on the arc, it's called an arc, man. Geo geographical, uh, geographical term. But anyway, yeah, so it was a very classical map, and it featured a little bit of camping, but not much. You can easily counter camping on the map. Features a few teleporters, and I enjoyed the version. And at number one, this is what the community says. I kind of disagree with. I think it should have been an honorable mention instead of Hang I think Hang Mai should have been on the list of number five. But it is Blood Gold. I kind of disagree with this because I think it's a little bit too simple for my taste. A little bit too simple, and I think it's an overrated map uh, because basically I feature, you can see a lot of camping on the map, like a lot of lot of camping, and people just could just camp with a sniper. They get attacked. If they get attacked, they can escape and teleport and stuff like that. Hope to see Victory. less campings than I imagine, but you know, that's what I have to say. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys later. Bye.